All right, y'all. What's up? It's Losers Finals. We got Chrome Kingfisher versus Ice Egg. Um, I want to talk about Ice Egg's run here real quick because this might be the last set we watch him in. Jeez, uh, already calling that man out. No, no, it's not that. <laughs> it's, I mean, it, there's the possibility. Is what Certainly. I, mean. and I really want to point it out because this man lost his round one to Casino. Uh, well, technically it was winners round two, but it was his first game, both their first games, in a 2-1 set. Got all the way through loser's bracket by taking out Grinch, PPH, Nature, and JFID, all in a 2-0 fashion. That's a hell Cold of weather, one. too, in a 2-0 fashion. And then that ridiculous Game 5 clutch factor that we watched uh, against Osiris and loser semis. And Are we going to watch him do something crazy like that again here in loser's finals? Already he has the percent lead, but again, against a grappler, kind of like what we talked about with Bayo versus Sheik, DK's going to love that extra percent for Rage. Certainly. This is basically the ultimate who-knows-what's-going-to-happen matchup. Because DK can get a grab at like 40%. Or now, it into right something. now. Dead. Yeah, it's dead. So DK can. I was gonna say DK can get a grab at 40, convert it into percent, and a kill. Instead, he's gonna just gonna just gonna convert it into a kill around 70. Yep. Now let's see if Bayo can respond with the same thing. No, that was a fantastic SDI. He must have the first hit of the second witch twist to get out. But I mean, I say he's been riding this witch time. Yeah. He has been just. He has been beating his foes just with witch time on a lot of these stocks. Yeah. He's been killing early and often with that fantastic counter. And I think. Uh, Especially that stock too, like that was such a close percent. Oh, even with such what looked like great DI, Chrome was just barely not able to live it. But yeah, I mean, fully charged ups, ups matches are pretty good no matter the character. Yeah. <laughs> and he's throwing it out again. I, I feel like it's definitely a habit. The question is if it can be punished. Like, can it be punished? Oh, for sure, for sure. We watched even Osiris get a punish like that in game five. Yeah, but it wasn't enough to win the set. Uh, this will be, oh, this will be enough to win the game. Exactly. Chrome is having none of that. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Game one. Ding dong, the witch is dead, yep. Game one going to Chrome pretty duh. I can't even say decisively. I mean, you know, yeah. he had like 50% on its last dock. Um, you know one thing I haven't really seen Isaac doing too much with Bayo is that? he doesn't really rely on um, on upbeat at all. He doesn't use that as a get out of free jail free card whenever he touches a shield unsafely. He doesn't use it as like a, oh, you touch my shield, I can't respond, I'm going to up B, just reset yeah. the neutral. You're right. He never does that. I, it's definitely a good option because if you shield the first few hits of it, you have 20 frames to punish. But still, I don't know if it's just that it's it's a play style choice or if he just, if he chooses instead to rely on that, that witch time. So Lilat is the pick here. Up till... Gets right through those platforms with a disjointed hitbox that can't be punished. This is a very good Bayo stage. I don't like taking Bayo here ever. Oh, and Chrome going to come in with the back air to punish that lag. Uh, what lag? It, what lag? The Bayo lag don't have no lag. Bayo, Bayo has lag. After all of her specials, she absolutely does. And that's really what the key part about this matchup, too, is like, yeah, she can combo you to hell and back, but unless she's killing you, something like this is absolutely going to take a stock, and you have to be sure that if you're touching Donkey Kong, you are killing him. Otherwise, you're just feeding the monster. It's like I said, I really do wish that... Uh, oh, we're going to see it again. Absolutely, we're going to see it again. I said stop it. Stop it. <laughs> He's nice with him this time, though. <laughs> Ooh, and this is kind of where Bayo yep. my lot shines, yep. This Bayo is very difficult to approach on the stage. Whenever it's her side is tilted down, you can't really duck under those uh, projectiles. You just have to, like, slowly walk at him, apparently. And then catch three back ears. Damn, kill percent. Oh, that was not, he wanted the down tilt. I know he oh, wanted the Oh, and he, he wanted the up throw right there. No way Chrome was actually looking for the turnaround back throw out of the cargo. Uh, Twice. Two mistakes. Now, that time you saw Ice Egg looking a little bit unsafe, and he upbeat out of that grapple, and then, unfortunately, side beat off stage. Yeah, he really just did not capitalize correctly after that. I, I feel like, you know, his composure looks fine now, like, just in the player cam, but it really just felt like he yeah, kind of lost like control of that match. Yeah, it feels know? like Isaac's off here. I, I mean, it's a grappler character, so you have to change something up, and he's just sure. not having the answer right now. Are we going to see the Zero Suit Samus? Or the Corrin? Or the Bowser Jr.? Or the Sonic? Or the Luigi? Or the or Random Button? Or the Random Button? I miss... I missed the old Ice Egg. Used to mean random Ice Egg. No, we're going to go back to Lilatus Bayo. Absolutely a great found choice. found a better button, the Bayo button. <laughs> That's the only button that go Witch Town. Hey, uh, I don't know. Random <laughs> could have it. I think if Ice Egg went random and got Bayo, he'd do better. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I used to make that joke with him back before he played Bayo. You, so you caused this? Yes. You are to blame. Look. I might not have been able to take a set off my man, okay. off my man Ice ever since he picked this character up. But more power to him, you know. It's like he 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 really has leveled up as a player as a whole. Oh, for sure. Bayo or not, I was really close with him. Like when when we were playing Corns, I'd always go to game five, and then 
I haven't taken the game off his Bayo yet. Like it's it's just completely a different beast. Yeah. Great up B to break it, but what's the punish? That's oh look at the Ooh, SDI. Okay. Fantastic. But he's still gonna get caught. That's the problem with Bayo is that even if you get out of her advantage state, she can just do it again. Yeah, she has the she has the ability to kind of like Especially on this stage. She has the ability to make multiple advantage states. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, if he hadn't wasted a little bit of that uh, earlier on, he, that would have been an easy kill. You can see he's going for that with like quite a bit on edge. Ooh, Ooh the upbeat cancel. Just can't get the uh, confirm off that grab, but that was sexy. Yeah. Chrome's got that Lilat tech. This Chrome a, nice with it. This is a good DK stage. I thought that jab block right there. <laughs> it can. It can. That is the dumbest thing to me, too. That happened to me once, and I just said never, never again. You can kill me, just don't make me look stupid. That's the rule I play as, as a player. Facts. So when I get goddamn jab locked by Donkey Kong's upbeat, I look pretty dumb. Ooh. Great call out. Definitely called out the correct option, too. It's just a matter of LOL. That up smash is only accurate for two frames. It's yeah. stupid. Oh, that up air killed. Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised, too. I just feel like I saw, the, uh, I saw the star animation. I didn't realize that was him falling in the back. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of like turned around and was like, oh, he's at 180. That makes sense. Tanking through, SDIing down off of those bullet arts so that he can get the slap on. And damn, oh does no. it pay off. Oh this no. This man looking like Captain oh Falcon. Oh my gosh! Into the conversion. Wow. So wait, let's talk about that setup real quick. Which time? Into up air, up air, up air, up B, up air, up B. Wow. This man looking like Captain Falcon or some crap up there, or Mario for Christ's sakes. And uh, I, I guess the, the especially interesting thing I want to point out about that, he died to the first hit of uh, second up B. Yeah, the auto link angles. Yeah. You, if you SDI, like basically what you want to do with the Bayo's uh, second um, witch twist is you want to SDI up and away if you feel like you're going to get hit with the up air. And so he probably still did SDI up and away, but Lila started to tilt, so he get popped up and away. Also, Bayo has rage, so that makes the auto link angle strong. I, at that percent, I don't think he had too much. I think he only had like 60, but he, even so, like... Really? I thought it was around 80. Maybe it was more than I thought. I could be wrong. Uh, I say goes so low with those, but his triple jump tech is on point. It makes me have a heart attack every time, but, you know, he's out here living. I mean... Use them if you got them. Why not, yep. eh? Ooh, just sniffing out that dash grab with that down tilt. That must be so frustrating to have your entire dash grab range nullified by a goddamn tilt. Ooh, oh. nice berry. Wow, that hits that far? That's silly. Oh, Chrome no, is definitely like, he's start, starting to fish for these. See, he's SDIing up. He should not yep. be doing he's, that. He's got to adjust to this. He's got to start going for down and away now. In, in the last game, I feel like, yeah, I might have SDF to die, but like in the last game, I really feel like he could have acted out of the second up B with like up air or something, so it didn't really matter his SDI at that point, you know what I mean? Yeah, true. But in a situation like that, he absolutely could have gotten out of that, mm -hmm. and right now he's suffering because he's, he's getting damage put onto his last stock. Yeah, I mean, anytime you don't you see somebody die without using the red sparks, it's usually because of just a poor SDI angle, yeah, particularly right. against Bayo. I mean, you've got to get out of it some way, so it's kind of like a 50-50, but still. Like that time was down and away. You could see him falling out dead? of that second. Yeah. That's dead, though. The Ding Dong angle is actually particularly high on Bayo because while Bayo is kind of light, she's, she's not really that floaty. No, and she's also like a very large frame. Yep. Wow. And these reversals, all of a sudden, Isaac has a convergence on point. We didn't see him do that a lot to, to, um, in his previous games against uh, Osiris. We didn't see him do that at all to Chrome the first two games. These last two, though, on point. The man Ice Egg is leveling up, taking even the likes of Chrome Kingfisher, winner of JTS 26, to game five. Has Ice Egg won JTS before? Negative. He has not won a JTS. He has not won a grind. He has won a side event. It was randoms. Of course he would. Of but course. Of course. Well, let's go Ice Egg then. I mean, I'm, I'm all for them first time finishers here. So we got uh, we got this game five, and I'd be really curious to see where he wants to go. Uh, where did Chrome win last? I, it's been a while, so I forget. Uh, I, he lost a dingus. No, no, I meant like what stage? Oh, he he last won on Lilac. Okay. The first time that Isaac took him to Lilac, he right. dominated it, and Isaac fell off the stage right. accidentally for an SD on stock two. Then, Down in city. Oh, this is the worst. I, I think that this is the stage you have to ban against DK. No one wants to fight against a DK on Town and City on game five. Yeah, this is, like, I got to applaud Isaac for his, like, mental fortitude here. Like, he's definitely been, like, riding these game fives and getting better as time goes on. But, Absolutely. But this is going to be a real test. See, down and away. There we go. He's def Chrome's definitely changing it up a bit. Uh-oh, here we go. Up B, up air. Yep, yep going to take that stock only 36%. Is Isaac going to push himself into grand finals? Triple jump tech. 
Starting it off again. My God, Chrome just can't get any air. This is it. That's absolutely yeah, that's, gonna be that's it. Dead. That's gonna be the set. What a game by Isaac. Five. The reverse 3-0, ending the set with an exclamation point at, with two clean Bayonetta zero to death conversions. Now we're gonna see that exclamation point in grand finals. You're right. He's gonna have a reset against Dingus Joe if he has any hope of bringing this back. I definitely think he has the opportunity to do so. As I said, mental fortitude is on point. I said gets better with time. You give him 10 games, I don't know what Dingus is gonna be fighting. All right. We're gonna have to jump right into it though. Find out.